Welcome everyone and welcome to today's video. Now, for any of you out there in the sim racing community who doesn't know, the release date for F1 2021 was just announced with a teaser trailer uh, announcing the return of Devon Butler. For anyone who didn't play the game, he was a prominent character, your rival within the F1 career series uh, for 2020. Now, the reason I'm talking about this game today in particular, while my channel hasn't really covered too much content on it, is the lack of acknowledgement of VR. Now, for anyone who does follow my channel, you will know that I race predominantly in VR. Absolutely love it. Great immersion. Believe it's the best immersion and the closest feeling you can get to being actually within a real racing car without actually being in one. Now, I did make a video around this time last year or shortly before the F1 2020 game was released. And there was a very obscure article uh, from one of the project leads from Codemasters for the F1 game. And he announced that VR would not be coming to F1 2020. Now, of course, this made me and many others very disappointed in the news uh, because Codemasters have previously had games with VR support, the Dirt games, for example, and they've been very successful, some great experiences. Now, 2021, I was really hoping that they would make some formal announcement regarding VR, um, and it looks again that they haven't done that. Um, now, it, the game is only available for pre-order. It's not coming out until middle of July, so we've still got a good few months yet. But considering how prominent VR is now within the sim racing community and within racing games in general, um, I'm still disappointed that we haven't had any acknowledgement. Just, I don't want to get my hopes up. Um, my hopes are quite low at this moment in time for VR supports. Uh, I think while EA have taken them over, um, Codemasters over, I believe that they will enforce VR integration. Um, if not this year, next year. Uh, that is my hope anyway, because EA are very supportive of VR and the VR community. They've, uh, they had Star Wars Squadrons, uh, the first AAA game that was purely dedicated to VR support. Um, so I know it's something that they, for all the, the bad press and criticism that EA gets for the VR community, they have been really good supporters. Um, so yeah... Once again, guys, as of yet, not uh, any news in regards to the VR support. I really hope we do get it this year, but my hopes aren't that high. As soon as we get confirmation on it, I will let you guys know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Me personally, I don't have too much interest in this game unless it has VR support. Now, that's totally my decision, totally of my opinion. Um, it is a good game. 2020 is surprisingly uh, quite enjoyable as a relaxed um, racing experience, um, but I just don't really have much interest racing on my standard monitor. If I had a free, if I had a triple setup, then maybe, um, but I have no interest. VR is where it's at for me, and I know that is the case for a number of racing users as well. So, yeah, be interesting to see what they come up with. Hopefully we get some form of acknowledgement and it's not hidden in an obscure article as it was last time. But we'll definitely keep you guys informed. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Turn those notifications on and see you for the next one.